Hi, I'm Owen from Square Balloon. We are a web development agency. You can see our contact details there um, if anyone wants to get in touch. I'm going to talk you through today three myths of web development. So the first myth we have is that I can do it myself. Of course, you can do it yourself. It's not really a myth. You can use Wix or Squarespace or one of the self-builders. The question is, um, really, does it save you the money or, or whatever the perceived benefit was? So in our experience, we've had customers go away they're going to do it themselves and then they come back like a month or two or three later and they say actually I hate building websites it's not my skill set I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just putting it off and it hasn't been completed the knock-on effect of that is if we built it in a week or two weeks now you're starting to trade with it and you're making money from it if you're doing it yourself and you're putting it off and delaying the project you're actually not making money from it so you might think that you've saved money but potentially you haven't. The other side of that is that you should be working in a new business and if you've been distracted working on a website, you could be losing money there or not making as much money as you should be there or not giving yourself to the business in the right places. So although sometimes you, you can build it yourself, it's not really a good idea. The other thing obviously, is I've got over 10 years of experience, my team have got loads of experience. If you want to work with us, we'll be telling you, this is what worked for our other customers. Here's why you should do it this way. That won't work. We've done that before and we've seen that this is what happens. So that sort of stuff you just won't know. You'll make all the mistakes that we've already made and you don't need to because we can tell you what happens, basically. So um, myth number two is that web development is expensive. Uh, I actually got told this by a builder before. He said, oh, web development, that's <laughs> really expensive. And I thought, wow, houses have got cheaper. Because I'm sure he's charging 100 grand to build a house, probably more. And he's probably doing that on quite a lot of projects. And we just aren't charging that much on most of our projects, you know. A lot of them are smaller than that. Although he thought it was expensive, I thought his thing was expensive, you know. Both things are expensive. But So I met a builder once and he, he said, oh, web development is expensive. And... You know, then I asked him more about his projects and he's building houses for a hundred grand and all these sorts of things. And I thought, well, why am I expensive? <laughs> you know, um, but I guess the the thing is he doesn't really know what he's getting for the money. So one of the things that we do is build systems, CRM systems, or other bespoke software that help business processes. And in doing that, we found that clients have said to us, "Hey, you know that system you're building us? It's actually going to mean we don't we we can do double the amount of work with the same amount of employees." I was like, oh, that's fantastic. So instead of having to employ someone for 35 grand a year, um, they just spent money on the system, which was you know, more like 25 grand in the example I'm thinking of. So straight away, they've saved 10 grand in that year, but also in the following years, 35 grand a year. Plus, if they might have needed more than one employee, and plus everyone who's in the company is using the software has become more efficient. So in that sense, it might sound like headline rate, 25 grand, well, that's expensive. Save 10 grand in the first year and 35 grand a year afterwards. That's not expensive, especially if it makes you more compliant. If it means all the data has been inputted correctly because it's been checked, validated as you're entering it. None of the bits have been missed because we're making sure they can't move on until they've done certain tasks. Um, and when you come to get audited, everything's in, saved in one place and it's easy to get out and saves you time there as well. Just makes you... Uh, you know, imagine getting reaudited again and having to fix things to get reaudited. It could just take so much time. That peace of mind of not having to do that and the time savings is it's, it's a massive, massive cost to, to your company. So those sorts of things is pretty much a no-brainer. Okay, third myth is that web development costs have to be paid up front or, or maybe like 50% up front or some variant like that. So the problem with this approach is if you... Uh, well, paying like that, normally the project doesn't get released until the end. So the problem being, if you then make changes and they get added to the end, the release date gets pushed back. And another problem is that as you're going along, if you find something that oh, it doesn't work the way we wanted it to, you don't find out until the end because you aren't releasing till the end. So a better, more efficient way of working is what's called an agile approach. Um, you release things in stages. So you do what's called a sprint. So you fix this part get the, the thing working first of all release it now we're adding the next feature on that needed for the project so bang we do a sprint we release it and all the time while we're doing that we're actively finding we prefer it if it works this way our customers are trying to do it this way and we thought they'd do it that way we need them to make it easier for them whatever it is we can be making those changes and improving it 
as we're going along in sections rather than waiting right to the end. So it's a much more efficient way of working and it also enables your cash flow to be more consistent um, along the line rather than paying a bulk price. And in terms of web development, we have found um, not only is it not uh, we can spread the cash flow out and help them, which gives them a bit more money for other bits of the business or marketing or whatever it is, but also by the way we work is we, we allow you some costs for the build, obviously, but also we give you a few extra hours. So if you need something, another feature, you can use it hours for technical stuff. If you need it for marketing, you can use it for marketing. We can write you some content or we can sit down and have a strategy meeting with you and clear up things when, you know, unless you've got 10 years worth of experience of digital marketing, working in the industry like I have or my team has, you're really going to sometimes sit there and go, oh, well, I've read this online, but I've also read this. I'm not sure which way to go. We can sit there with you and go, look, this is why it won't work for your business. And this is why this way will work for your business. And here's the smaller task to do this, because sometimes you give people a big task, give an employee a big task, and it's a bit overwhelming for them. And they don't really know how to get to the end goal. But if you can break those smaller tasks down, give them deadlines, that's how they get to the end goal. So having us on board, helping you to make those good decisions will inevitably make your website more successful. And what we've also found is that the customers love this because not only do they get the cash flow sorted, but in fact, we found out that customers didn't really like updating their websites. They didn't like uploading content. They didn't like editing images and making sure that they all worked. In fact, most of the time, the people doing it was a business owner or a marketing manager or someone like that who actually had plenty of stuff to be getting on with without this extra task. And they preferred to say, well, actually, you guys are the experts. You take away this job that we don't enjoy doing and do it for us. And they got better results because we could do the image editing properly. Um, and, and they were just happier overall. So this, this payment up front, it actually doesn't work very well because customers we found don't really update the website because they don't enjoy it. Taking that away and letting us do it, they, they see a much more successful website, improved Google rankings, improved um, on-page optimization, checking through how, do, how the people using the site, feeding back on things, doing split testing to make sure the website can be more successful if possible. So all of these things, they only happen through this ongoing arrangement where we are actively involved in the company we spread out the cost so it's easier for you and we're more involved so you're more successful and we just built you this beautiful website we want to see it be successful you know we, we hate it when the customer just goes we've built it it's going to be successful that's not how it works that's that's never been how business works it's just not that easy i wish it was but it's not but we will help you to get to that position um which will involve some work but we can take a lot of the work away from you if need be so those are my three myths. Um, myth one, myth one, I can do it myself. You can, you probably shouldn't. Do the stuff that you're good at in your business. Let us do the other bit. Uh, myth two, that web development is expensive. Normally we're saving you time or some other costs and often it's tangible as well. And <clears throat> myth number three, you have to pay for everything up front. We've gone away from that model and we've found it so much more successful and the clients enjoy it more. Clients love us being involved. Um, so yeah, it's not a very good idea to pay up front. In fact, it's not, although some people think it's great, I've paid my bill and I forget about it. You're kind of forgetting about the website as well, which isn't a great idea. So I hope that's been useful for you guys and girls. Um, if you want to get in touch, here's our social media, um, places and, uh, yeah, please do reach out to us. We're happy to give advice or help to anyone we meet.